Hey there, last time we talked about the importance of the mole and we talked about how to go from particles to moles and from moles to grams, uh, but we did not talk about what if we go from grams all the way to particles or from particles all the way back to grams. So that's what we're going to look at today. Now, there is not a, um, a, a conversion that allows me to go from grams straight to atoms. So what we have to do is we have to go through the mole. So um, I'm going to use my same uh, strategy as what I've been doing uh, this whole time. I'm going to take my given and I'm going to put it at the top left of my T-chart. So I've got 13.2 grams of iron and I want to find out how many atoms of iron that is. So I'm going to go from grams of iron to moles of iron and then from moles of iron now I can take that to atoms of iron okay so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna figure out what numbers need to go where well I know every time I see moles I'm gonna put in a one makes it easy I know every time I see atoms or particles of any sort I'm going to put in Avogadro's number And I know anytime I see grams, I'm going to put in the molar mass. So the molar mass of iron is 55.85. And I should already have this math done, but I don't. So I'll let you watch me type it into the calculator. 13.2 times 6.022 second E23. Enter. Divide. 55.85. Enter. And I get one point. Four, let's see, I need three sig figs. So 1.42 times 10 to the 23rd power atoms of iron. And that's how we do it, okay? Um, all of these problems are going to be like pretty much the exact same. Okay, so we'll do a couple more. They're all going to be the same thing. We'll go, um, let's see here, let's go from... Uh, let's find out how many grams are in this many formula units of magnesium chloride. So kind of going backwards, but it's still the same thing. So I've got 6.25 times 10 to the 25th formula units of MgCl2. Okay, easy enough. From formula units of MgCl2, I'm going to go to moles of MgCl2. And from moles of MgCl2, I'm going to go to grams of MgCl2. Okay, where do we put numbers? Uh, what no number goes in front of moles? One every time. Boom and boom. Formula unit is a kind of particle. So I know that that's going to get Avogadro's number. 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd power. Lastly, grams. Okay, so I, we need to know our molar mass of magnesium chloride. So magnesium is 24.31 plus 35.45 plus 34 or 35.45 equals 95.21 is my oh, come on now, molar mass of MgCl2. So now we just do the math. Okay, so I've got 6.25 second E25 times 95.21, enter, divided by 6.022 second E23, and I get the answer 9,881.48. Now, of course, that's way too many sig figs, so we need to cut that off at, let's go with, um, equals 9,000. Nine 880 and that's going to be grams of MgCl2 okay that's how you do it folks that is what we've got so let's see if we can find something um, a little trickier here let's take a look uh, this says this one is uh, this many formula units of mercury 2 chloride how much does that weigh in pounds so let's uh, all we're doing is we're just tricking it up a little bit not too bad though okay um, so we still want to start off with 7.32 times 10 to the 24 
formula units of mercury two chloride, so um, HGCl two, and uh, um, let's see here. So now we're going to go from formula units of HGCl two to moles of HGCl two. Then from moles of HGCl2, we will go to grams of HGCl2, just like we've been doing. But now we're going to take this one step further. Okay, Now instead of stopping at grams of HGCl2, now we're going to take this to pounds of HGCl2. And notice it gives us, um, it gives us the conversion factor here. All right. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and plug in what we know. Uh, what number goes with moles every time? A one, boom, boom. What number goes with formula units every time? 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd power. Now, I should stop real quick and say, uh, when I say every time, I'm talking about if you've got moles in relations to formula units, okay, or moles in relation to particles, okay? Um, you know, I, I keep saying, oh, well, you, put, you always put grams with, uh, or you always put the molar mass with grams. Well, here we've got grams, but this is a different situation. We've got grams that we're trying to get to pounds, okay? So in this situation, it tells us here that one pound is 454 grams, okay? So don't get tricked up there. Uh, the molar mass, though, of HgCl2 is 200.59 plus uh, 35.45 times 2, enter 271.49. 271.49. Okay, so now let's just do our math here. Uh, 7.32 second E24 times 271.49. Uh, enter uh, divided by, okay, now I've got multiple things on the bottom. So I'm going to do open parentheses 6.022 second E23 times 454. Then close my parentheses because I don't want to mess up order of operations since I've got two things on the bottom here. Okay, you got to put those in parentheses. Enter. Uh, I get the number. Let's see here. So what was I looking for? Pounds, right? Um, I get the number. I need three sig figs. So I get the number 7.27 pounds of HGCl2. Okay, that's how you do it, folks. Uh, we'll uh, trick this up a little bit more in the next uh, video, but until then, have a time.